Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is currently Thursday, the 19th of March, 11.30 a.m. This morning, I had a couple of sales meetings um, and yeah, my operation is at one o'clock. So today, I'm having my ACL reconstruction surgery. Um, I'm having it done by a hamstring graft. Um, and I'm currently actually at Tesco, so you won't be able to see, but um, I'm at Tesco, so I'm gonna get some some um, some fruit, veg, cereal, pasta, um, eggs, anything which is, you know, necessary for um, living, basically. Um, and, and any toiletries or anything like that. Um, one, I don't know when the next time I'll be able to go shopping is, um, especially I'll be on crutches for at least a week, maybe maybe two weeks, and I don't really want my parents to go to go shopping or to go and mix um, out there with the people because of we're going to try and maintain this social distancing. I think that is key for us to stop spreading the virus. Um, and prevent it and just reducing the risk of of of, of sort of um, exposure so yeah currently at the uh, at tesco i'll i'll see what i can get i don't know if it's gonna be busy i don't know what i'm limited to i don't know what i can have um i don't really expect to get many things but just a couple of essentials and i'll keep you updated and yeah ready for the next one this is for everyone's safety comfort peace of mind Please stand outside the marked areas at all payment points to ensure a safe distance. Thank you so much for your cooperation in these unprecedented. Wow, that wasn't actually as bad as I expected. Yes, there was a lot of things, um, you know, not around like tissue, for example, um, and wipes and antibacterial wipes and things, but a lot of the essential food um, is, is around present. You got fish, chicken, fruit, veg, um, anything, anything that you need. So so well, well done for, um, you know, to Tesco and all the supermarkets for keeping us going during this tough time. Um, I want to give a shout out to all the workers actually who are working um, tirelessly to keep us going during this tough time. This uh, epidemic, this pandemic, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been quite, quite brutal. And we've just got to stick together as one. The country's got to stick together. I've got friends who are doctors, who are nurses, who are business owners, and they're all struggling. Um, and they're working really hard for us to, you know, to keep going um, and yeah, m maintain some form of, of life. And um, yes, we need to look after the vulnerable, the, uh, the, the elderly, the sort of really young, um, sort of newborn babies and things, but um, we will get through this and we just need to stay strong together. And we really got to look after the loved ones. So, so it's family, friends, anyone that you can really sort of make an impact to. Social distancing, social distancing is key. Um, the more we separate ourselves from everyone else, the better. We reduce the likelihood of, of passing on the virus. And, and that is key, that is key. So um, yeah, I've got about 20, about 40 minutes now to um, the time I've got to get to my operation. So it's now 12.20, my operation's at one o'clock. The place is about sort of 10 minutes away, the hospital. So um, I'm gonna sort of pack and, and put my things together. Um, I did get some, not sure you can see that, some flowers for my mum. Because yeah, why not, why not? Let's, Keep, keep the moods happy and keep everyone positive. So catch you in the next video. So just a little overview of some of the things that I bought. Try to sep separate them out into groups. We've got baby spinach, carrots, tortilla wraps, cauliflower, some sauces, grapes, oranges, actimel, um, lasagna, yogurts, chicken legs, chicken thighs, shampoo, shower gel, eggs, bananas, milk, bread, some porridge, um, some like snacks as well. So I've got cereal, porridge, some crisps, chocolate, ice cream, bagels, peppers, some mixed nuts in there as well. So currently 19th of March, 12.45 p.m. 
We've got 15 minutes left until um, I arrive at the operation. Um, just want to give a little shout out to Eamon Alnimi for being here and taking me to the operation, taking that day off from the NHS work during these tough times um, today. So I do appreciate that. So how is my knee currently doing? Um, my knee's feeling fine. I went on a run yesterday. I also went on a little cycle. Um, it was a 5K run, cycle. I don't know the distance, but I did 40 minutes on the bike. Don't know the next time I'm gonna do that. So I just thought it's best to, to just to see how it feels. And um, yeah, I feel like feel, it feels good. Um, I think I'm, I'm glad I'm getting it done sort of now and then not um, any later. I feel like the current situation with this pandemic is mm. is quite. Um, it's only going to get worse, I reckon. It's quite hard, yeah. And I think it, I think it will just get worse, um, and we need to prepare now ourselves and, and stick together. So um, yeah, when I'm down injured, I think I'll be at least a week or so on crutches. So, yeah, Eamon, if there's anything that we ever need, then we're going to have to call upon you. You're going to yeah, be the big yeah. boy in the house of now. Of course, of course, of course. It's, it's not a bad time to be, uh, to have a knee operation and be in rehab, is it? With all this quarantine and stuff. Yeah, true, true. Um, <coughs> it's, it's lucky as well that I can really work from home so these next couple of weeks um, I won't be affected too much. I'll just have to maintain my um, exercises and physio. It's strange. It's strange because I, I'm I'm fine now. I went on a run. I did all this stuff, mm. and then in the next few hours, that's it. I'm not gonna be able to walk I'm again. Gone, yeah. I'm gonna be uh, yeah. It's the way it is. On though. crutches hopefully, and everything. Hopefully, uh, long term, we'll sort everything out. Yeah. And then uh, no more knee problems. After this, fingers crossed. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, just a reminder to you guys. This is my second ACL injury. A previous injury occurred about five, six years ago on my left knee, and now this has occurred on my right knee. So it looks like my body is just trying to balance itself out, um, and I'm gonna be doing all my rehab strengthening exercises on my right knee, as well as my left knee, to keep them both stable. You know, uh, Memphis Depay, when yeah. he had his, did his ACL recently, he, uh, he shaved his head as well. Did he? Yeah. Good going that. I think I might get a bit shorter to be honest. Yeah, he went completely bald, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Memphis. Good old Memphis. Yeah, he's doing well now, isn't he? Yeah. Banging yeah. the goals in. Well, he was. Well, he was. He was, yeah. He, he's, uh, he's recovering from quite fast, though. Yeah. He only did it like two or three months ago. Yeah, so I think it's a two hour, two and a half hour operation. I think because I don't have any meniscal damage, it might take 45 minutes, might take an hour. So it really does depend on the circumstances and what type of operation you're doing. Yeah, you know what I wasn't supposed to eat? I wasn't supposed to eat before uh, today in the morning. Eat? Yeah, nine o'clock this morning I had some eggs. I can't gonna make it into the video. I've already told them. <laughs> I've already told them that I can't. Um, that I can't. That you shouldn't be eating before. But they said if your operation's after four p.m., then you, you need to have. A, you can have a little light meal mm. at eleven o'clock. Your surgeon sees the video. It's like I thought you told you not to eat. Yeah, I've just got like sauce, pal. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That's why I'm drinking as much water as I can. They said only water just before the operation. Hide the evidence. <clears throat> Day. And here we are waiting, 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 waiting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I just wanted to record while it's still kind of raw. Um, I've just been told that my operation will be postponed. Um, they said until next week, but 
I don't know whether that will be next week or not. Quite devastating, to be honest. I was I was looking forward to this this operation for a while, um, and wanted to just sort of get back into full full fitness and full health, but. Um, yeah, apparently they tried to, to contact me, email me, call me, but I think, uh, yeah, well, I work in sales, so I'm always on my emails, and there was no recollection of that, but there is nothing that we can do at this stage. Um, yeah, I've just got to be, be grateful that, you know, with this pandemic that's going on, and there's a lot of people who are in a much worse position than I have, um, I'm just going to be grateful that I've got my my parents, um, or, you know, both in good health, um, my sister, brother, just family in general, um, and, and and all my friends, and, and you know, everyone is just sort of just sticking by together. And I've got to look at the the positives from this. Um, maybe it was better for me to have my operation in, a, in another day um, yeah pretty gutted pretty gutted but I'm gonna try and use this week now wisely um, yeah anything that I need to be need to get I'm gonna try and minimize sort of leaving but then try and stay as, as active and in, in as, in as fit as healthy as I can Ah, but we continue. Tomorrow is a new day, and we take it on the chin. And whether we get this operation done this year, next year, year afterwards, um, you know what? We're gonna get it done, and it's just part of life. So, yes, it's a stumbling block, and yes, it's been a, it's been a, it's been been quite uh, sad. But we continue. We move on. And yeah, on to the next.